What's up guys, Everyday Tools here, back in with another video. And today we got something new in the shop. It's a Craftsman Brushless RP 3-inch cutoff tool. So we just picked this up at Lowe's for 119 bucks. It includes three blades, a diamond, abrasive, and multi-purpose blade. And it's got LED light, goes from 0 to 20,000 RPMs, and it has a rotatable guard. Some more specs here on the back. You can cut all different kinds of material, metal, drywall, fiber, cement, plastic, ceramic tile, porcelain, and granite, marble, and stone. So let's zoom in here on the stats. Let's see what we got. 20 volt max, no load RPM, 0 to 20,000 cut depth, 3 quarter inch, 500 unit watt out, arbor size, 3 eighths, wheel size, 3 inch, and weight is 2.1 pounds tool only. It includes a cutoff tool, hex wrench, dust port adapter, abrasive disc, multi-material disc, diamond blade, and arbor adapter. So that's pretty cool. It comes with a lot of stuff there. All right, so let's pop some of this packaging off here with these trusty heart scissors that I just picked up <clears throat> from Walmart. My first time cutting anything with them. It's always good to have a solid pair of scissors in your workshop. You always have something to cut and then you end up trying to do it with a knife and then you hurt yourself. Let me move that out of the frame because it looks terrible. There we go. So that's our Craftsman Brushless RP. And then we'll pop into the side here the same heart scissors. Let's cut that. Cut this side here. Whoa. Almost destroyed it. And it's got one more. There we go. Put that to this side. So right out of the box, we're greeted with some cardboard. Some cardboard and then our instruction manual. So this is for the Craftsman 20 volt max 3 inch cutoff tool. So you could just go through that if you want, but we're probably not going to need that. And then inside the box, we have the tool. You got your arbor adapter right there. It's kind of cool. We also have more in here. We have three different kinds of wheels. Let's pop these open real quick. So you got your multi-material. And you got your diamond blade for tile. And you have your metal cutoff wheel. That's pretty cool. Comes with three blades, it's pretty nice. I mean, for what they're charging, you know, it should come with something. Because it is tool, tool only for 119. And then you have your dust port adapter. So that is a pretty good amount of stuff that comes with it. So let's pop this out of the plastic here. Here we are, we got the Craftsman Cutoff tool right out of the box looks very nice. I mean, feel in the hands is very premium actually. This feels a lot like the DeWalt cutoff tool um, at a little bit less money, so you won't be breaking the bank as much. But very small, nice form factor, brushless tool, brushless RP, so it's going to be lightweight, it's going to get good runtime. On the side here, we have a depth adjustment. Oh, that's cool. So it just goes up and down like that. It's not like your normal depth adjustment on a circular saw. This kind of looks like a mini circular saw. It does tell you forward and reverse on the front there, which is helpful. So let's pop a blade in here and then we'll get a battery on it as well. Alright, we're back. So we're going to pop a blade in here. It comes with an included hex key, which is really nice of them to do that. A lot of times you're out looking for the right one and you can never find it. So this is reverse threaded, so we're gonna tighten it to loosen it, which is very trippy. But you wanna make sure you don't do it the wrong way, you could strip it out. Let's see what this card says. It might tell us that it's reverse threaded actually. Take the arbor, okay. Remove card, assemble blade between inner washer and outer washer. Oh wow, doesn't even tell us it's reverse thread. 
Okay, so let's get the metal cutting blade on here because this is what we're going to be using it for. We're actually using this for a welding project that we're doing in the truck. That does not feel right. Maybe it's right. Maybe once we get the washer on here, it'll click in. So we're going to loosen it, tighten it. So let's get that nice and loose on there. And we'll loosen it down with this. All right, that feels pretty good. Wow, this thing's crazy. It feels like it's got a magnet inside of it. All right, so let's pop a battery on here. Let's put our hex key back on there. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't. It's magnetic. I, I would feel like I'd want a friction fit there as well. But that's okay. It's not terrible. All right, let's test it out first time here. Oh wow, it's got the LED light there as well. So that's pretty cool for your workspace. Wow, that's very fast. It's also very quiet as well. Let's go bring you out to some metal and see if we can cut through it. Okay, so out here we've been working on this lawnmower deck. It's completely rusted out, so we're trying to do a weld on it to get it back in order, put the pulley back on it, and hopefully It'll work a little bit better because it rusted out to the point where the pulley fell off of it, which is not good, obviously. So we're going to try this out here. I'm going to put this in forward mode. It's kind of hard to tell what direction it's spinning in. Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll put it in forward mode. We'll step on this plate here and hopefully not kill ourselves because we only have one hand. Wow, that's very loud. But this is just some thin sheet metal, so this shouldn't be a problem for this. It does seem to be riding up on the metal a little bit, which is not the best, but let's try this again. It's definitely cutting through. I'm, I'm not really giving it a fair test right now because it's, you know, I'm not on a stationary piece there. We got a little bit of room in here. Let me just see how it does cutting into this real quick. Wow, that did a really good job. That, that ate right through that. That's a really clean cut. That's thick. That's like probably 14 gauge sheet metal right there, and that, that buzzed right through that. Well, I'm surprised. That, that's really good. So yeah, definitely definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a cutoff tool. I mean, we're going to be using this to, to flush cut some sheet metal uh, alongside this truck over here. So yeah, you can obviously tell this is a, a work in progress. But... It's definitely getting worked on. So right here we have some rust that needs to be taken care of. Obviously, it's you know pretty bad, but that's nothing compared to the <laughs> underneath of this guy. If anybody knows about trucks in here, you can see that's what a rocker panel is supposed to look like over there. And this is what it looks like over here. And that is not supposed to look like that at all. So you're missing this is your outer, and you're supposed to have an inner and another outer over here as well. And it's missing all of that, which is terrible. And obviously not supposed to be that way. But we're going to be welding, we're going to be cutting out this whole piece here. All of this along here. We have a 7 inch piece of sheet metal by 8 feet long. 
that we're going to be planting in here. Uh, 16 gauge, a little bit uh, around the same size as factory, but you know, as I'm here, I'm just pulling stuff off the truck. Yeah, around the same size as factory, and that's going to take care of this back piece. We ordered an inner rocker, an outer rocker, and that's all going to get taken care of as well. So it's going to look really good when it's all said and done. Obviously, it looks terrible right now. And we also have cab corners that came in that we're going to be doing as well. But we've never done any body work here at Everyday Tools. So this is going to be a bit of an adventure, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see, you know, how much I can actually do, what I can get done. Um, because I've never really done this. I'm not the most experienced welder or anything like that. But it'll be a fun project. I mean, it's, what do you have to lose? Anything's going to look better than this, right? I hope. Um, but we'll be working on this, and I know, obviously, it's in rough shape. But for the price we got it for, it was worth checking out. So, yeah. So check out this, your local Lowe's Nice Hardware. $119 at Lowe's right now on sale from $139. Very good deal, I think. It's a very portable tool. It feels great in the hand. You can move it around, get it anywhere you want. You can probably even cut PVC with that. But I'm not going to try because this is how you guys watch videos. So, it's a great tool. You can cut stone, you can cut tile, you can cut wood. You can really cut anything with this. And I think that you should check one out today at Lowe's. If you're interested in something that's versatile, it's good for cutting, good for small jobs, good for places that are hard to reach, this is a tool for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out this tool at Lowe's.com. I will put a link in the description for this tool, and you guys can check that out. They also make extra blades that you can get. We got these here, and then we went to Harbor Freight and got a really good deal on these. A 10 pack for $1.97 and a 25 pack for $7.97. So, I mean, we're going to be going through a lot of them. Yeah, and I know they're Harbor Freight, but for that price, can't pass that up. So, check it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any. God bless you guys. Check out my other videos and have a great day.